What is good? What is good? It's your boy, Aaron R, and today I have a surprise. I got some inspiration to do a piece for you guys. So if you guys remember, I picked this piece up from a thrift store for $2.99. And it was in my last haul video, if you guys watched that, if you didn't, go check it out. When I came across this in the thrift store, it actually had some stains on it. So I bought it, um, knowing that I'm going to be risking this being a flawless piece. Threw it in the washing machine today, I did all my thrifted clothing um, laundry load. Sadly, not all the stains came out. but. Lucky for you guys, it did give me inspiration to do a little um, distressing on it. I'm gonna turn this into like a little distressed Yeezy look. I'm gonna show you guys how I distress my clothing and then I will do a short little lookbook with this piece on so you guys can see how it comes out. And yes, thank you for watching. You feel? Yeah. So, first things first, obviously you're gonna need this Tommy Jeans crew neck. Um, I'm going to be using scissors and right here I actually have a tool which is called a filer. It's a nail filer. I use this to kind of, um, this helps with like ripping the threads. Alright, so I'm going to start with the neck. You guys have seen in my previous videos that I like showing more neck. <laughs> you feel me? No, but uh, yeah, I like to, I feel like people with longer necks, it looks a lot better when the neck is a lot, um, a lot more open. And for this piece, I honestly just don't like the gray that's on here because I feel like it's just out of place. It's the only gray piece that's on this Tommy Crew neck. So I'm just going to cut around the neck and I'm going to cut the whole thing off. So now as you can see, I cut off the neck. You can see it's a lot more open now. Uh, I'm going to show you how I take off pieces of lint and then now I'm going to show you how I um, distress the piece so at first I like to grab the sweater and then I'll twist it into a little little like ball and then I'll cut the little tip of whatever I twisted that way it gets a more like circular and kind of just a little off-centered um, circle so right there you can see it right there I formed the hole so I actually forgot to mention that when I do distress a piece I like to use a straight razor this is actually a blade that I use when I um, cut hair and you can see right here as it clears up it's a very sharp straight razor so what I do with this is I go in on that ass and then I just start kind of just going over the hole um, just kind of ripping it a little bit not too much now I'm gonna go over it with my nail filer as you can see I actually made another hole but you can see how I just rub it across a little hard a little rough <laughs> but um yeah you just go over it until you feel like you like the way it looks and then basically you just continue this process all throughout the sweater and I will show you how that looks in fast motion As I was making all these distressed holes I decided hmm let me cut this piece right here because I basically when I'm distressing a piece I don't really have a preference of what I want to do I kind of just go with it and just whatever I feel like doing I just cut it because I feel like if you do it that way it doesn't look too forced and it looks like a um, naturally distressed piece so right here I'm gonna cut all the way across Now I'm going to flip it over and I'm actually going to cut the back as well, but I'm going to do it more towards um, the edge of the crew neck at the bottom because I want the front and the back to have different lengths. So I'm going to cut all the way across here. As you can see, I'm cutting it a lot thinner, but yeah, I'm going to go all the way across. Now... 
Um, for the bottom pieces that I cut, I'm just going to run over it with the nail filer because this will get it to kind of pop up and kind of start curving and be more a little more rounded and just look off as you can see right there. And then I'll also do it to the bottom as well. So now I'm just going to continue to do the same process all throughout the crew neck and I will show you guys the outcome. Let's get it! final product looking pretty good I'm about to show you guys how this looks on body I'm gonna do a little lookbook for you guys so yeah hope you guys learned how to do it from this and yeah let's get into the lookbook yeah okay camps on the B and <laughs> Piece, man this shit came out oh my god this shit came out so clean it was good I'm so happy that I picked up this piece and it had the stains on it because if I didn't I would have never thought of distressing this piece um, super happy and super hyped like this came out so clean just seeing it like outside like with the lighting and I'm like Jesus Christ thank you guys so much for watching I hope you guys fuck with this heavy like Oh my goodness, this came out so clean. Um, damn, I can't stop thinking about it, but yeah. Um, thank you guys. This was just a little inspiration, surprise for you guys. Um, I'm glad some of you guys are liking the background. I decided that I'm going to stick with this for now. But yeah, thank you guys so much once again. And you already know, amen to fashion. What's 